welcome to Chrissy's Corner. In today's episode, we will be replanting some lettuce after we take them out, and also we will be replanting some corn, and we'll also take some of the cherry tomatoes that fell off the cherry tomato tree and plant them in another um, patch. We are only going to be pulling out the cos lettuce because the other lettuces are still good to pick, and we do have some other cos lettuces in the salad mix. And we'll be planting our iceberg, um, iceberg lettuce. Mm, nice. Very nice. Yes, I'm going to move it here because that's where we'll be planting them. Mm -hmm. So let's just pull them out and put them on the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's a hole. Oh, that's a hole. I'm going to make sure you wring out the dirt so that yeah. you have some. Ooh. That's alright. Yeah, we don't want to lose too much dirt, but... No, I think that's enough. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, that'll do. We can always put some more dirt in. They get pretty tall, these um, lettuces, don't they? Yeah, look how tall they are. Wow. I missed the same height as me. Yeah. Wow. I did it. That's pretty strong. Yes, hey, I am. isn't that little grasshopper hanging out there? Yes, Mr. Grasshopper. Hello, my name's Mr. Grasshopper. He guards our lettuce. You know why they're called icebergs? Because they go around in circles. Right mm. there. This is, this is my family's favorite type of lettuce. We all eat this one. So you're just squeezing the pot to get them out? Yes. I I should take that. Oh, you can always do that last. Yeah, but I feel like taking them out. Okay. Look at it. Look at all their roots. Wow. They formed into a rectangle. Yeah, so now we're going to break them up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Make a little... Here. Maybe break them up first and see how many you get. Then you can two place them out. Two right there. Alright, well, maybe break all of them up. Okay. So we can so see how, how we want to um how we want to place them out, see? You are a gardening expert. Wait, is there two in here? Yeah, it looks like there's two there. Should I rip them apart? Um you can leave it together, doesn't yeah, matter. And then there's one by itself, the poor lonely one. And then we got these. Alright, so space them out into some spots. So here, 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 and maybe one just here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one I started to dig a hole. So we just dig a little hole and chuck him in. Yes. That's it, cover it back up. Yep, push it down a little bit. That's it. Cut it down. Yep, put a little bit more dirt on top. Perfect. Alright, and then for the next one I'll put it here. Alright, so we'll do that a couple more times and we'll come back, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay. It's time to water our plants in. If you don't know, you have to water your plants in because they might die if you don't. So I suggest you get a nice watering cannon like mine. And just water each one separately even if you do have a self-watering system I suggest you still water them with your watering cannon so now it's time to put Mr. Grasshopper back in his beautiful place mm. right there watch over my plants yep. put, the sign. put a little sign in there beautiful mm, here 
Yep. Yep. So we know what we've got. Okay. You can yeah. put your little sprinkler in the middle there too. Your watering system. It is. Here. I think that's a good spot, right, Dad? Awesome. All right. Now it's time to get onto the corn. Here we are, at corn patch. But they're really hard to get out, and the and the roots are really strong. So my dad has helped me to pull them out. And we also will be replanting these corns right here. Oh yes, yeah, some nice sweet corn again. That's dope. They're nice and big, these ones. Yeah, look at their roots. Yeah, look and at that. Lead, you can see them. Yeah. I'm like, their roots at the bottom. That's alright, just throw them to the side, sweet pea. Watch out, because they'll probably have some bugs and some yeah. ants and stuff on them. I kind of have a shower after this, but at the same time I don't want to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, now this one. Easy. Hey, look at the roots on that. It's like a wig. Okay. Oh, nice throw. I think that was I think you know, you're ready to plant the new ones. As usual, you want to squish the bottom a little bit, so that way it's much easier to get some out. Mm -hmm. If you remember from the first time we got corn, that we got smaller versions, but now we got bigger versions of the corn. Yes, that's right. Yes, that should grow a little bit quicker, maybe. Look at all the wow. Look at that. Look at all that. Might it's a, a square bit, formation. Might be a little bit tricky to cut it up, maybe this one. Mm -hmm. It is pretty hard. I'm going to try. You can see the big roots that make it harder to pull out right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're quite mature, these ones. Yes, quite. I don't even know Do you need a start. hand to pull them apart, or? Nah, hopefully I'll be okay. Maybe you want me to get like a standy blade and I'll cut them up. Nah. Now that we are done planting all the corn, now it's time to put the irrigation back, water them in, and put the sign in. That's first. it. So put a sign first. Yes. Then we put the light back. Oh, Mum's little solar light there. Yes. Can't forget that, she'll get upset. Yes, very upset. First we're going to water them, then put the irrigation back. Because if you don't water them, then they most likely will die. Yeah, well, it's important because we've just shocked them a little bit by breaking them up. And that as well. Yeah, so watering helps them to feel a little bit more comfortable. Yes. Just okay. okay, awesome. Put, Put your the little... irrigation we set up before. Put it yeah. right in the middle. Perfect. Now we have a little secret patch we want to show you. A so secret patch? Get, yes, so let's get on to that. So here we have our nest patch that we have been throwing compost, like compost, like um, tomato food scraps and other stuff like that. Some cucumber, lettuce cucumber, scraps. Cucumber, lettuce, yes. So it's right here below us here. Wow, what's happened here? So here we have some mystery items, but I know what this plant is. This is a tomato plant because of its nice stem, how it's purplish pink. Mm -hmm. So what, these things, when you threw your compost out, these have just grown out of the ground, are they? Yes. Out of nowhere? Have. Yes. Wow. These, we don't, we're not sure what these are. It could, I think it's cucumber, mm -hmm. but it could be zucchini or cucumber, but I think it's cucumber. Mm -hmm. Me and Dad think it's cucumber, right Dad? Yep, I reckon yep. so. But I guess we'll have to see what's... Um, what pops up over the coming weeks, eh? Yep. So we'll just let it run and uh, see what happens. And I was yep. actually thinking we might make another mystery uh, yes. compost box. Yes, you want to do maybe that? Yes, an update of the mystery compost. No, there's a new one I reckon we can make. Yeah. Hey, do you want to do that? This nice little box full of soil. And we'll be making another mystery um, box. And we'll be putting all this type of food in here, like a rotten apple, avocado Whoa. skin in a pit. 
Ooh. some cucumber and some gross tomato and um, even grosser some capsicum I don't really and some oranges I don't really want to pick them up because I'm scared and, some, <laughs> and like a nectarine and some yes what else what is that Ooh. okay so we've got some nice food scraps here yeah. okay so what are you going to do with these Chrissy bury them in this nice soil that dad has kindly moved around for me so where should I start here then Right, Dad? Yeah, maybe just start there. We'll probably break up the cucumber a little bit and, and chuck some in there and bury it. Put some cucumber in you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe cut it in half or something. <laughs> uh huh. It's a bit soft now, is it? It's very gross. I don't like it. Okay. But if we just cut it up to open it and show everyone the seeds that are inside. There you oh, go. Yeah, let's gross. have a look at that. Look at that. So uh, yeah. hopefully we get some okay. cucumber. So, oh, yeah, I can see some little seeds there. Yeah, plenty. Yes. Okay, awesome. Alright, well let's chuck that in the hole a bit. Maybe if we get all the tomatoes, squish them up a little bit and put them in this corner closer. Okay, which corner? Uh, maybe on this side of the, the box. Okay. Yeah. So at least we know all the tomatoes are sort of over there. Yeah. So these are some bigger tomatoes yes, than what we normally grow. Yes, 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 yes. Unlike the cherry tomatoes. Yeah. I think that's Yeah, it's plenty. Just, just squash it a little bit and chuck it in. Yeah, just to open it up. Because we all know there's plenty of seeds in tomatoes. Oh, oh yeah. Me. Okay, make <coughs> another one. Okay. Yeah. It's really gross. Yeah. Why don't you put some on another th other side, huh? There's plenty of room in the box. I know there is. <laughs> yeah. We got a bit of mold. Oh, yuck. Moldy. <laughs> I don't like this. Alright, so that's all the tomatoes gone. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Maybe put the... Apple? Yeah, you can get the apple and put it over here somewhere. I think these will grow because they have seeds in it, but Dad just lost all its seeds. Oh, that's all right. I think there's some there. Yeah. Look, there's a seed here I've just found. Yeah, I see. Look, so we chuck that in there. There's some sand in there. There's chuck the apple in. in. Chuck, chuck, in chuck that in there. All right, so put, put the whole apple in there, I reckon. Put the whole lot of it. There's another whole lot as well. Yeah, just chuck it all in the one hole. Okay, like so we buried some apple, we buried some cucumber. I have a new disgusting fear. We've buried some tomato and capsicum. now Oh your furry capsicum. Oh, nice. And that's where the right. strawberries. Maybe chuck that in another spot. <laughs> yeah. Bury a couple of them in some different spots. There's some sand yeah. in here. Not yeah. too deep, babe. Not too deep. I think it's deep. No, the apple was just here. No, I saw it. Look. Dig it up. There. Oh, okay. Very oh, let's there. put it over the corner here somewhere. I'll put it over here. Yep. Okay, nice one. Deep, so the red one's here, the orange one's are here. Okay. Now for well, orange. Well, with this type of stuff we can just throw in the other compost piece, I think. At least these guys have got some seeds and we've got a good chance of having them grow, don't you think? Yes. Alright, so you're happy with that? Yes, I'm very happy with you that. Don't look too, you don't look too happy. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm happy that All I don't right. have to do it anymore. So we're we done with our mystery box for today, are we? Yes, and look at the juice. Now that the mystery box is all done, time to water them in. Per Yeah, watering will help the decomposition. Yes. And uh, hopefully get our seeds to sprout. Give it some nutrients. Oh, there's a spider! <laughs> Don't worry about the spider, they're good. Okay, what are we up to next, Chrissy? Now we have a special thing to do over in the other patch, in the mystery patch. So next to our mystery patch over here, oh, we'll get, yeah, get rid of that. Oh, just some rubbish I think that mum put there. <laughs> Rosemary. Hey, you put that there, you <laughs> liar! This yeah, is so Rosemary that dad put there, yeah. not my mum. Here, that one, yes. <laughs> yeah, just chuck it aside there. Alright, so what are we going to put here? We are putting some cherry tomatoes that have been left on the ground or that have been opened up by horrible creatures. Oh, so that was, these are some of the cherry tomatoes that have fallen off the tree, huh? Yes. Beautiful. And have been destroyed by yep. these bugs. And what are you planning to do with them here? Plant them in some holes that I will set up in just a second. Oh, okay, so, so just like how we did the mystery patch, you're just going to bury some of them here. Yes. But instead of a mystery, it'll be mm -hmm. tomatoes. We'll know what they are. Alright, let's bury them in.
quickly buried. So you're just going to push them in the ground a little bit, yep, put some dirt over it and that's it, really? It's that simple. Yes, very simple. Just get any scrap from your kitchen, and then get some soil, maybe a container, make it easier, put it there, pat it down, and then you water it. Simple as that. Any of you can do this. Everyone can do this. Simple, very simple. All you have to do, get scrap paper. Well, I mean, not scrap paper. That's bad for the environment. Don't do that. Get some scraps from the kitchen. Get some soil. Get a box. Put them in. Pat them down and wash them. What water? Them, not wash them. Pat. I don't know why I'm patting them down, I just like patting them. Like a flat it's very lucky last. The luckiest of them all. Well, some of them <laughs> have slits in them, I don't know why they're. Yeah, it's, oh, like look, they, it's like they get too full of juice. There's a tomato right there. Yeah, that's another tomato growing out of nowhere. Funny, isn't it? Yes. Alright, you want to water them with the hose quickly or? Yeah. Okay, now it's time to water them in. Also gonna wash this so mom doesn't get mad. It looks like that rain's not too far away now. Still I prefer to water them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, still give them a water in just in case. Maybe water over here a little bit as well. You wanna water your mystery patch there? to wrap up the video so i'll see you guys in the next episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so i can post more videos for you guys bye bye